Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I've got some super cute stamped bags to share with you. Well, since I'm busy and you're busy and the holidays are underway, I thought this would be a good time to share a super simple project that you could do, you could have the kids do, you could have them help you with. You could even make your husband sit down and do this because it's so easy. I got some craft bags. You can get these at the dollar store, you can get them at the grocery store, just whatever size you need. You can put gift cards in them, little mugs in them, whatever kinds of small things. I need a whole bunch of bags for an event, so I needed to have a bunch of them, but I didn't want them to not be handmade because the gift inside is not going to be handmade and I want some handmade element to this. So I'm stamping the birds from MFT's Warm and Feathered set. And I'm just kind of stamping the different birds all over the place. You could mix the birds up, but I'm doing one bird per bag. And I'm going to do both sides. And you could try to do the sides of the bag, the skinnier sides, but they're a little harder to figure out how to flatten the bag to make that happen. So I'm just doing the front and the backs and going to deal with that. And I'm stamping them in black ink. You could depending on what you're doing, you could stamp them in different colors of ink, etc. But the good thing about this particular thing is that these stamps all have a scarf or something that I'm going to be able to do a little coloring on because I just wanted to do something hand colored. And you could just do one of the little characters and just fully color that one and leave the rest of them with just the stamped ink. But what I decided to do was color each one of the scarves across the whole bag because it's going to give it that impression of being a craft red and black and white bag if I have something kind of all, all over color. On something like this scarf, you could just color the scarf solid, make it faster and not have to get into all the little details. Here I decided rather than coloring that ribbing carefully, I would just do, do them kind of solid that way. And I'm just showing you the coloring of one, but I will end up doing all of the all the little owls on each one of the bags. And this little guy, I accidentally colored one of his wings on the right hand side. I, I thought that was part of his scarf, but you know, there you go. Sometimes we make a goof up and we don't realize till later that we goofed it. So I'm also going to add a little bit of snow just around the main image, that one image in the center of each one. So whatever kind of white pen works for you, just use that. And then for the magic of it, take a cotton ball or a Q-tip and add snow from a white pigment ink pad. I was so excited to find out that this was going to work. I'm not sure why I never thought of it before. Maybe other people have and I'm just slow to it, but it makes a really cute little cloud. Look at him floating on his super cute little cloud and just coloring one of them with this detail and then let the rest of them just be the hats makes for a really cute design on your little bag. It also means you don't have to color a tag. You can just do it all on the bag and do a really simple plain tag with somebody's name on it. You don't have to color all that and just do it on the bag itself. And it totally makes the bag a keepsake or they could reuse it for someone else. And wouldn't it be nice to know that your bag is being gifted to some other person? So this third little one, the little guy with uh, the weird red wing on one side, uh, this one is the one that actually inspired coming up with the idea to use the snow this way, the, the white ink, to create a poof of snow because he really looked like he needed to shush and schmoosh down the mountain with lots of spray. And you can see that I started with the little q-tip and then added the cotton ball later so the cotton ball gives you kind of a wider softer kind of spray of snow and it's a little more controlled with that little little tiny q-tip so darling darling way to make these little bags and to do something that's quick and easy during the holidays is really important because we are so busy I did decide to add one more little thing, and I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I added white snowflakes because there's lots of snowflakes in the stamp set. And I just stamped them all different ones all over the place, just put them each on a little block so I could stamp them all in the same white pigment ink to make these cute overall patterns. And now I have 
12 more bags to go. And they're really easy, they're really quick to get done. And I'm gonna have a beautiful matching set of bags for this event that I'm going to. Are they not just the cutest little thing ever? There's also a video on the MFT channel showing how to color these birdies with some watercolor pencils. So you may wanna jump over and see that one as well. And I'll have a link for that over on my blog if you wanna check that video out. And that's about it for right now. I will see you again soon. I do have more videos planned for December. Just remember less of them will be crafty card making-y for a while because I'm going to take a little rest break. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.